The significance of leadership that upholds individual rights, challenges detrimental policies, and remains accountable to the people cannot be overstated. J.D. Vance underscores the necessity of supporting leaders who embody these principles and work to rebuild trust in government. But let's just go back very quickly. He says he isn't taking sides on 9-11. Do you agree with that statement? Well, of course I don't agree with that, Kristen. Now, to be clear, I don't know what RFK actually said there. Maybe there was additional context. Of course, you actually have to see what people say before you agree or disagree with it. I certainly have taken sides in 9-11. I'm the pro-America side. I don't think that we should have been attacked. And I certainly think hitting back against the terrorists was justified. I don't know what RFK said there. But what I do know is that RFK said a lot of very interesting and important things, that the Democratic Party has become too pro-censorship, that the Democratic Party, especially in the wake of COVID, became really anti-freedom and anti-child. I mean, you had Democrats saying that we should be masking toddlers in their schools even though we knew it caused developmental disabilities, I agree with RFK that that was crazy. Well, to be fair, there was a lot of information that scientists were grappling with as it came in and masks were perceived to Kristen, stop the total, spread of the disease. To, Let's move on. Totally, though. totally fair. Yeah. But the one thing before we move on that I would say on that is there were important leaders. Donald Trump was among them. RFK was among them who were saying some of this stuff is crazy. And if we had listened to them, I think our kids would have been much better off in the wake of the pandemic. I mean, scientists did show that masks help to stop the spread of the disease. Let's talk about another big issue. Abilities for toddlers, well, right? We have to be able to balance this stuff. And I think the way that RFK struck that balance yeah. was much smarter, unfortunately, than the way that Kamala Harris did. Leaders like Donald Trump and RFK Jr., who questioned the mainstream narrative during the pandemic, are highlighted as exemplars of this type of leadership. Their skepticism toward excessive government intervention and their commitment to protecting individual freedom positions them as voices of reason. J.D. Vance's comments reinforce the notion that leaders who dare to challenge the status quo can craft policies that safeguard freedom and better serve the public, particularly vulnerable groups like children. The emphasis on informed decision-making by individuals and the responsibility of leaders to act in the best interest of society, even when it conflicts with the majority opinion, is crucial. Vance's praise for Trump and RFK Jr. can be seen as an acknowledgement of their sincerity and courage in speaking out against policies deemed harmful. Their dissent is portrayed as a testament to their dedication to truth and the welfare of others. The debate over COVID-19 policies, especially concerning children, touches on the long-term impacts these decisions may have on mental and emotional health. Vance, referencing RFK Jr. S. Stance, raises concerns about how policies like mask mandates and lockdowns have potentially hindered children's development, questioning whether these measures have left a lasting mark on an entire generation. These concerns are framed as a call to the public to consider the psychological and developmental consequences of pandemic policies. Moreover, the role of the media in shaping public perception and the need for diverse perspectives is also brought into focus. Vance's critique of media bias against Republicans and Democrats alike highlights the way prejudices can stifle critical debate, ultimately limiting the public's ability to make informed choices. Public concern appears rooted in how pandemic policies were managed and the pressing need for accountability from those in power. Vance suggests that trust in leadership hinges on leaders' willingness to maintain their principles, even in the face of transparency and opposition. His remarks may resonate with those who feel their voices were marginalized during the pandemic, as they now seek leaders who will prioritize their well-being and freedom.